Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new, hello. Today's video is going to be some outfit inspo that I've recently configured. Usually, I just really have fun with experimenting outfits, and I like to share some with you guys. If you guys are confused, and you go to your closet, and you're like, what the frick do I wear? Well, I'm gonna help you, because I have that problem all the time. So stick around, and go ahead, and watch this video, take notes of anything you like. I will put all the links down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other videos videos and let's hop to it. This first one we're starting out with is my personal favorite mainly because these are my favorite colors of all time which is pink, white, and black. But I really like the sportswear aspect here where we've got the Adidas stripes mixed with the Nike stripes on the shorts. I think you guys should really try experimenting with basketball shorts this season. They are different, they're cool, and they're comfortable. Then I threw this classy pink blazer over the top which I think is a perfect paradox of the two. And then these Nike Air sneakers to go with the whole black and white mixture going on. And this vintage Chanel bag with the black and white hat. This could be a little bit overkill for some people, but so incredibly comfortable that you guys can wear this literally to the gym and then out for cocktails. For this next outfit, I went a little bit more girly for you guys because everybody just has different styles and I want to make sure to be hitting something a little bit, at least for everybody. So this is a For 11 Lemons cardigan that I I've had for years and I've never actually worn it. I don't know why. I, it, this looks so good on. It looks amazing and their fabrics they use are incredibly soft. This peachy color is perfect for the season and these shorts, these satin shorts I found from Zara are my favorite yet. Love how they parachute out which is really great if you're trying to lengthen your legs. You don't like having chaffing going on and I tied it with the little vintage denim bag and some peach high top sneakers with the Yankees hat again. So this is a little bit of a streetwear edge, clearly, but a little bit more girly for you guys. So if you really like pink, peachy colors and you like denim, this one's for you. There's never an outfit inspo video in my mind without a pair of jeans. This is a pair I got as well from Zara and I really like these because they look like the Balmain ones you guys probably saw years ago that the Kardashians were wearing. They have those nifty gold buttons, which is signature style of theirs. And these are from Zara and probably like a 30th of the price. These were 40 or $50 compared to Balmain's, which is like two to 4K, just ridiculous. They have a straight leg cut, which is great depending on your body shape. And then I paired these with some white sneakers and this brown dark brown tank top technically a sports bra you guys can wear your sports bras as tops i do it all the time puckered it up with the pink hat and then did a classic monogram handbag here i feel like this outfit is just incredibly basic it's your jeans with a top and sneakers you're just giving out a little bit of an edge with the colored hats and the glitziness of the bag for those of you that are a little bit hardcore and like a little bit of an edge or super trendy and kind of grungy hipstery i'm giving you camouflage i love camouflage i've been a fan of it for quite a while and i love the different ways you guys can style it Get really creative with this so we have this camouflage ripped up skirt super grungy and then some juicy's back thank god <laughs> We got the Juicy Couture super crop top with Juicy in the front with a camo hat to match and then basic Nike Dunks in the black and white. And we kicked it up just a little bit more with the gold bag. I think this is Beyonce all over it. I feel like Rihanna would wear this. This is gonna be street style inspo all the way, but only if you're a little adventurous. Back with the basketball shorts. I'm telling you guys, they're everywhere, at least in my closets. <laughs> These are a pair from Adidas have a really sweet back. I love the way these fit. It's a cinched waist. I don't even have to tie these. They fit amazing. They're also a little bit longer. So if you guys are worried about cellulite or just don't like super short stuff, this is amazing because it also has a high waist. So you guys can feel comfortable wearing that. I personally hate low rise things. So then we got an all black leather hat, basic long sleeve, white cropped shirts, white sneakers, and a little bit of pop of color with the bag because it's still summer. I still like 
color. I didn't want to keep this completely monotone. Light wash jeans are essential right now in the calendar year. And this is a pair from Zara. They're their classic wide leg, high waist jeans. What I love about these jeans is depending on your height, you can just cut them off. They have a raw edge already. So I have quite a few pairs that I've literally just taken scissors to cut them off and they're perfect. These are very comfy. They've got very calculated rips on the thighs, which I really like. You can't normally find jeans with rips on their thighs. They fit amazing on pretty much every body type. And then we're getting a little preppy here with the polo. I love this knitted one from Revolve. Got another classic monogram handbag with some of my favorite sneakers. They're popping. Brown corduroy hats. Something about green and brown really mixes well in combination. So if you guys have some of those colors in your closets, bum, 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 add them into your daily outfits. They're beautiful together. Summer isn't summer without biker shorts. Biker shorts in any outfit video I think is also essential as, long, as well with the jeans just because they're comfy. Everybody can wear them. They're um, amazing. So this is a pair I continuously wear like in all my photos, all my videos, and they are the Lululemon biker shorts, four inch high waist. I love the high waist. Low rise biker shorts would be miserable. Pair this with a pair of sneakers. These are classic Stan Smiths. Again, go with everything. I love them. They're never gonna get kicked out of my closet. Then we did a sports bra. You guys, I love having outfits you can go to the gym with and then just throw something on like this blazer and uh, call it a day. Also, if you got sweaty hair, nasty hair, just you know, throw a cap on. The lilac and the brown kind of tan color is a really pretty combination that you guys can experiment with as well. And then I paired it with a classic Burberry vintage bag to highlight the different tones in there. The lilac is a very subtle way you guys can add color. If you're color conscious, maybe you don't like pink, maybe you don't like yellow, I'm with you, or red, but this is a less obnoxious way to wear color. Keep the outfit, but put some interest in with a colored cropped blazer. I truly am obsessed with the sweater. It's probably not something you guys would normally see me wear, and I found it a little bit hard to style. So I went with neutrals because this sweater is loud and proud and gorgeous and actually has a little bit of sparkle to it. I paired it with a pair of black distressed denim shorts, carried it on with an extra pop with these sneakers, these Jordans. They have a really saturated color, which brings out some of the blues in the sweater, but kept it very neutral and relaxed with the smaller bag and the white hat. Um, this bag is kind of pointless, as you guys know, you really can't fit anything in it. But for the sake of fashion, I included in this video because it looks pretty. I know going into fall, it's gonna get chillier. You can't wear shorts and tank tops everywhere. So pick up a fun curated sweater, pair it with something pretty basic like these denim shorts and uh, you're good to go. This outfit is super comfy. It stay in your sweats all day and maybe go out for errands if you're feeling like it, but also could meet up with some people for lunch or a dinner on the weekends if you're feeling up to it as well. Got a classic Lakers purple tank top. I don't wear purple often, but this is a nice way to implement it with the black and the white, keeping it very on color branding, keeping it very curated with those three colors. Luckily, I had some purple shoes that I bought, never thought I would wear, and they go really well with this. So don't be afraid to experiment with purple. I think it's beautiful. This is a larger bag. I really like bags that actually hold stuff, like the previous one that holds nothing except a Q-tip. These pants are more of a nylon material. They're really high waist. So if you're worried about wearing pants in the warmer months, do not. Just go for something really light and airy. I could probably get by wearing in Mexico and not being too hot, uh, but just an easy outfit to put together if you guys don't have black high-waisted nylon pants. Just go with basic black joggers. Last outfit of the day is something that is a little bit uncomfortable for most people to wear, which is a two-piece set. This is knitted as well, so perfect for the, you know, hotter weather and not gonna worry about sweating too much. So I didn't wanna add anything over top of this because it's just too hot for that. The subtle hits of navy were done on purpose. The navy hat to match the navy high tops and then the subtleness of the navy and the flowers on this vintage Dior bag 
just had it with a gold watch, gold jewelry, which I wear all the time. Um, pretty much don't take these off. But this is a little uncomfortable for me to wear. I don't usually like going around wearing something super tight unless I have something oversized over it. So if this does freak you out a little bit to wear, you know, a tiny top with tiny shorts, just go ahead and throw a blazer over a button down t-shirt. You get the idea. For those of you who do feel more comfortable on your skin, this one's for you. You guys can rock those two piece sets like none other. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Again, if you need links to anything specific, find them below. Make sure to follow me on my other socials. If you have any video recommendations for the future, also drop those in the comments and I shall see you guys next time. Bye.